Hello once again. We are back with Escape Simulator and yeah, doing more community rooms from the same author. Today we're going to try out Sudoku in Space, which uh, by the same author, like I said, and um, yeah, really had great a blast with the previous one. So I'm interested in to see exactly uh, what this one is going to be about. Uh, yeah, yellow quadruple proceed. What are our restrictions this time? We've got quadruple Sudoku. Uh, each, I'm not seeing this one. Each in the white circus must appear in one of the four surrounding cells. Okay, that's fine. Yep, okay, get that. I get that. Extreme Sudoku. Cells with arrows facing outwards must contain numbers greater than all orthogonal cells that don't also contain maximum constraints. Okay, so that's basic. This is basically a bit like um, I play another game. I think it's called um, Futushika, or Futushina, or something. And it's similar to this. You, it's, it's a bit like Sudoku, but you have um, arrows which indicate certain cells which are, the numbers are greater or less than. Uh, I think I might just take a quick screen grab of these um, rules here because um, I have a hunch that uh, I'm going to not be remembering how to. Um, these rules so apologies a moment while i just sort this out and um yeah i think quadruple sudoku, sudoku is um that's fine i get that um okay let's open the hatch door here we go okay so right off the bat i can see that that has to be a four because it's the only digit there which is common to both of these. So one, two, four, five, six, that means a nine in this bottom corner over here. Okay. So here is our next. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. So here's our next one. Got a four and a five there. Well, we know that the four has to go, the four can't go in the middle, right? That's interesting though, why is there a four? Four's constrained by that. That's gonna have to be the four, because it's the only cell that both of these see. So that's a four. And, okay, so we know that that's gotta be one, two there. Everything in here is greater than this number, and we know that a one or a two is. So one's got to be constrained to here somewhere. But looking at what we've got here, we know a one can't go here, and a one can only go there or there. There. Okay. See what else we've got over here. This is not giving us anything at all. It's going to give us some constraints. For example, the eight's got to go in the middle, either here or here. I have got pencil marks. Interesting. This is very interesting indeed. Okay, so pencil marks. We know an eight's got to go there or there. Uh, fours. I just can pretty much go anywhere. One can go here. Let's see the place one can go though. If, oh no, one can go in. No, one's got to go here. The reason one's got to go here is because these numbers have got to be greater than this number. So we can't put a one there. And that number is greater than all of the surrounding cells. So we know that is going to be a one. Okay, so we've got the one. It's a twos. Yeah, I think two's got to go here or here. There's no way it can go in there. You know that this can't be a three. Nines. I think it's going to be central. Not fours. Fours we know can only go... Here or here, I guess. Fours, ones, eights. Five, six, seven. Six, 
six, seven. Alright, so ones can't go there, so we've now positioned our one in this central column here. Which leaves this here a one there or a one there. Okay. A one, so we've got a two, three pair here. A one, two, three. Four's gotta go there. This uh, four could go anywhere. Cool. Uh, I can't go there. I thought we were going to be able to identify a load of um, pairs down here, but we can't. This box here. Two, three, fours, four. Four's got to go there. Fives. Can't have a five in this box. This is going to be a four or five pair. Let me just check that logic again. One, two, three. Four's got to go to the top because of this four here. Uh, it's no. Oh, sorry, yeah. No, this is it. The four. Uh, the five is constrained to one of these cells here. So that becomes a four, five pair. I mean, this is a two, six pair. But a two can't go there, so the two has to go in here, and the six will have to go here. Okay. That can no longer be a two. So let's think what the minimum digits here could be. Well, we can't have a six here anymore. So that can't be a five. That can't be a five. This digit cannot be five. Because if this was a five, we would need to have three and... Yeah, no, it can't be. It just cannot be. Okay, so... Um, there's not enough lower digits than the five to place around in here and here. We would need to have a one and a four here, which... Uh, one and a three, sorry, here, which we've already placed a one there. Uh, the three doesn't break the constraint, but the uh, yeah, we can't do that for the one. So it can't be a five, can't be a six. Could it be a seven? And no previous constraint here. So a seven, we could place a five there and a three there. So that could work. This could be a seven, eight, nine. It could be any one of those digits. I don't like to sort of mark the digits off on Sudoku when um, I've not found like a, a matching pair kind of the way it can only go in that column. So yeah, I'd rather try and stay away from that if I can. Ones go there. Eights can pretty much go anywhere. We just know that five can't go there. That's the only thing we've really um, concluded from that. So what else have we got here? It means our three's got to go here. In one of those boxes. So we can. The only constraint on the, this here that we haven't found yet is the eight. We don't know where the eight goes. Three, five, six, and sevens. Sevens can pretty much rule. Sevens and nines. Uh, nine can go anywhere in this central column. Five, six, seven, triple. But we don't know enough about the surrounding digits. It will start to unwind that top, the cell above it, if we can place like a five. But at the minute, we don't know enough about it. Three, three four, five, six. Okay. There's no constraints here on this, this top cell as well, which makes it a little bit more difficult to try and work with and um, do any, any form of like solving and unwinding of the puzzle. There's just so many possible combinations here for the 789. Can I, I can't eliminate anything from here at the moment. 789, 
we could have three. I know five's got to be at the top. This was a seven. This would need to be a three. If it was an eight, we could have a seven and a five there. If it was a nine. Oh, hold on. No, there is something we can do. Uh, is there? Oh, no. Okay. And I, I thought that, that uh, this restriction here was blocking an eight from being there. But if we placed a five there, that would force that to be the eight. So we'll have a five and an eight. Wouldn't really have any restrictions here, though, would we? Hold on, does the, the have to be sequential? Cells of arrows facing outwards must contain numbers greater than all the other cells that don't also contain maximum constraints. See in in the example that's written here on the um that was on the screen, his con the, the sorry, I don't assume he the the map the creators constraints are all sequential so for instance they've got a four here uh, they've got a five here and then it goes six seven eight nine i mean it doesn't go round but it's all sequential in regards to the number you start off from the middle now if that was the case no you see that can't work with this because this would need to be a one to satisfy that criteria there There's a three. I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the constraints in here. I don't. I, I might be missing something, some logic here. But given that these these cells are marked, are we just looking for the constraints here? We are. Okay. Feels a little bit brute forcey. I'm not entirely happy how I did that. But we do have some progress. And we can start to move on just a little bit. So we've got a one, two, three, triple here. So one, two, three, triple. Six and a seven. So this one here is a four, five, nine. Well, One of these numbers has to overlap, and it can't be the nine. This becomes a four or a five. So either a four or five is the overlapping number between these two constraints here. So everything, let's say everything is greater than a five, this would have to be eight, nine. Eight and nine. It's got, it's got to be an eight, nine, right? It's got to be an eight, nine because even if it was a four, we've already used six and seven. Could be a five. But no, this has, to, I think this has to be the shared cell. This has to be the shared cell because it's the only available cell that we have which is able to see by everything. So this becomes a five. Now, this has to be eight, nine. Which then means this becomes four, four, six. No. It's a six is not less than that. Okay, where where's my logic gone wrong here? Logic has gone wrong. Let's put this into my inventory for now. So 
So this has to be an eight, eight nine pair as well. We have an eight nine there. So that means one of these eight nines cannot be an eight nine by that logic. Okay. Let's take these numbers off. I think we need to just, we need to um, reevaluate what we got here. Okay. That's definitely the one, two, three, triple. We don't need to worry about that. Right, so we know that's not that. We know that's not that. So that's gonna be a seven, that's a seven and nine double. Then this becomes a five six. Seven's got to go in the corner here. Seven's there. Seven's there. Seven. Seven. Why have I got this as a four five pair? Oh dear, I'm, I'm in a right mess here. Maybe that's my mistake. But no, I have to have a three here. There has to be a two, three. Well, this can't be a two. That can't be a two. From then, I mean, that's got to be the two. And this becomes a seven, nine pair. Does that break any constraints? No, but I can't place a nine there. Maybe that's where I went wrong. Okay, so that's a nine, that's a seven, does that, everything is less than the nine, of course. Nine, 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 we've got sevens, seven central sevens. Jeez, all right, this one's, um, this one's definitely a, a brain teaser in comparison to the last one. Definitely finding myself um, a little more tested this time around. Even though we've got like we seem like we've got more space, we can see more of the uh, the board at once. All right, so that becomes five six. We then have one. This is the one two pair at the top. One two pair, a four five pair, which means this is a three six seven, which we can do. Okay, three, six, seven, triple. That's an eight I've marked there, I know. Okay, three, six, seven, triple. All right, let's move across. This can only be eight or nine. This can't be a nine. This has to be four or five. So everything greater than here has to be, so this has to be a, can't be an eight. If it was a four, it could be a five or a nine. These are all numbers we've got in these sections here, again with this. This is a four, it would have to be a five or a nine. Cannot be an eight. So the eight constraining is there. So eights are gonna go here or here. Okay. Balls can't go in this cell here. Balls can't, can't go here. So four has to go here or here. So 
So maybe four is the shared number. Four is the shared number. Has to be the shared number. Okay. So that eliminates that. So we've got a five nine pair here and a five nine pair here. This is not going to be a nine because whatever number is here. Okay, so I think the nine. Oh, let's put it back in my inventory. Okay, so nine. This cannot be nine because it can't be less than this. The nine has to go here, assuming this is an eight nine pair. Why can't it be anything else? One, two, three, four. Five has to go at the top. Six, seven. Yeah, okay, so that's that. Nine's there. Five's there. No, it's not. I can't. No, no, it's an eight. It's got to be an eight. That's still a five. That's the five. That's the nine. That's the eight. Which unwinds this last digit as a six. And then we can put in these last two digits here, the five and the nine. And they go in opposite locations here and here. Yes, okay. My, I don't know what's going on there. Sorry, guys. My whole... Um, whole stream deck kind of went a bit quirky and, and whatnot. Um, okay. Okay, apologies for that. I'm back. I'm back, I promise. All right, so what else can we unwind here then? We've got a one, two. Sixes. So we've got a one, two, three here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, let's look at this. It can't be a one in either to these two cells because these two cells don't see that. So we can easily place the one. One is going to go here. So we're gonna, we can easily place it. I don't think we can easily place it. Uh, Oh, I can't place it there because it's the wrong. So, so, so stupid. It's the wrong color. Seal. Okay, so what we got here? We've got one, two. So this becomes two, three. One's has got to go in that top cell there. That's a two, three. We know that can't be a two, that can't be a three. So this has got to unwind as a one. With a two at the top. Three has to go in the middle now. I think we knew that anyway. Yeah, three, seven, six. A one, two, three. In the eights. Over there, kind of there. So eight has got to be in one of those top two cells there. Why not restrict the falls at all? Uh, we only know the four can't go there or there, so we don't know enough about that at the moment. Okay, we know that, that can't be a one. So we've got a two, three there. And a two, three there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I want a five, eight, nine. Nine can't go there. Five can't go there. So this has to be an eight. Eight. Which then unwinds this eight here. One, two, three. So we've got the two and three there. Let's see, we've got a one there as well. 
Yeah, one's going to go in that column, one's going to go in this column here, so we can unwind a one. Well, not unwind it, but we can put it there or there. One, two, three. Fours. Fours can be anywhere there. Fives can only be here or here. Sixes can only be in one spot, and that's here. Seven. Anywhere down here. Eights we've already got, and nines. Nines is in the middle, so this makes this a five nine pair. One, seven. So have we got everything in this cell? Um, one's got to go at the top. Got the two and three. Four. Why can't four go here? We've not done fours. Okay, that's what I'm missing. Fours, fours, fours. Checking the other constraints. Okay, so fours could be. Is this a one, four, seven? One, four, seven. Okay. Let's do the same with this column, uh, this box here. One. Looking for two, three, seven. We know a seven, we just said seven's there, so that's gotta be that. This becomes a two, three pair. So nothing else we can like unwind. Two, three. No one can't go there. Ha. Huh. Top box then is the one we need to look at. One, two, threes. Let's put three in this car. Okay. Fours. Fours seems to be like the key to un un solving this puzzle. Fours, it's like a lack of fours. Can't be four, five. Six, seven, three. Well, three's there. Six can't go there, so that's three, seven there. And all three digits can go in the top. Oh, there's a nine here. Okay. So that's nine, that becomes a five. What does that do? Two, three, one, four, seven, five, nine, two, three. Still cannot unwind that two, three. Three, two, three. One, four, seven. The lack of sevens isn't helping either. Am I missing some constraints here? Oh, I'm missing this constraint here. Yeah, okay, so that's got to be a three. This one has to be a three because it has to be bigger than the number on the inside. That's going to help massively. That's going to help massively. Okay, so two, three there. We can now start to do something here. So we know that's got to be a two. We can't have twos in here. So that now becomes one, three. Got the rest of the puzzle here as well. Okay, so we can place nine there. Got an eight. We're going one of these boxes here. Six, seven constraint there. Six, seven constraint there. Uh, did it help at all? Not entirely sure. One, two, three. Four, seven, eight. Four, seven, eight. Can't be a four, so four's gonna go here or here. That's a four, seven pair, because we've got to have one of them as a seven. The last one there goes to be an eight.
8 is greater than both 4 and 7, so we can't really do anything else with that. We do know then that one of these has got to be a 6. 6, 2, 3, 7? All right, if that's four and seven, that means that's got to be a seven there. And this comes in with the twos and the threes. So well, that can't be a two. Okay. That's an interesting observation right there. So this one can't be a two. So that means that is three there, a two there. You can now finish this sequence off here by placing a three there and a one there. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five's gonna go there. It's got a one. This is a one, eight, four. One, four, eight. One, four, eight. One, four, eight. And that leaves us with a six and a three. Three. Three and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, seven. So both of those can be in that cell there. What else can we do? Two, three. Okay, so again, sixes can't go here. That could be interesting, which means we're going to be blocking a six into this row, this column here. So that's got to be a six, or that's got to be a six. We're forcing that one into that column there. We already know there's a seven in there, so this becomes a six, seven pair. So we can take out the six. Hold on, why did I put a six? Did I just say I can't put a six there? The six has to go there. Six can't go there or there, but it could go here though. Could go there. I've done this the wrong way around though, because of the constraint. The six can't go here or here, so it has to go here or here. Therefore, we can't put a six there or there. Instead, this one becomes the six by Sudoku, because of the six on the top and the bottom of this row there. Okay, I'm glad I, uh, glad I checked the logic there. Okay. That is the six, seven pair. It means a seven can't go in here. Seven can't go in there. Go there, can't go there. So this is definitely a seven in here with the four, which we already knew. Seven and four, seven in there. Seven is already in that box there. What about any other numbers? Ones. One has to be there or there. Twos. Don't know enough about twos. Threes. Don't know enough about threes. Fours are in there. Fives. This becomes a one five pair. This becomes two nine. Two nine three. Two, nine, two, three, nine. There's another number that I'm missing from this row. One, two, three, fours, four, five, six. Yeah, there's definitely a number I'm missing from this row. What am I missing from this box? One. One's going to go there. Two. 
twos. This can pretty much go anywhere at the minute. Maybe marking the twos was a mistake. Threes. Okay, we'll go anywhere. Okay, I think I'm not sure about some of these numbers. Oh, it's these restrictions here that's messed me up. All right, let's take this two, three, nine out here. No, that's right. That is right. Five has to go there. One has to go there. One. I put double sevens. No. Oh, no. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. I have messed the puzzle up. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to... I guess I'm going to have to restart the puzzle, because... There's no way... to... undo this easily. Alright, well, we'll... I'll restart until I get to this particular spot, and then we will uh, carry on. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always one of the pitfalls of Sudoku. If you don't realize the mistake, and then you start thinking you, you're making progress, obviously it all sort of melts down on you. But we'll be back soon, and we'll pick this up um, as soon as I have uh, realized my mistake. Alrighty then. I'm back and I've worked my way through and I think I know where my um, issue was before it was this tile here literally I just made I think two mistakes in these two cells right here so um, I've literally just gone through and solved this as quickly as I can only putting in the yellow cells using my reference image of stuff that I'd already done so this is where we are right now and hopefully we will carry on and be able to solve the rest of this as we put a two in there so that becomes a one and a three and uh let's have a look here what we got here two so we got can't go a two there so this one has to be the three because of that two forcing that one there this one has to be a two meaning this one has to be the one and this one has to be the three okay so, we know a 7 can't go here, so the 7 has to go there. Hopefully this one is right this time. It's a 6, 7. I've got a 1, 2, 2, 3 pair here again. Always those 2, 3 pairs seem to just like crop up everywhere, don't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 9 in here. Five, nine. Well, this has to be the nine then, because if that's going to only be a five or a nine. Just double check that row again. Yep, that seems correct. In this bottom, we know one of these cells has to be an eight. Interesting white. Uh, well, there is that meant to be a moon or something. So we've got a one, one, eight, four in this one. So one or four, one or four, one or four. And at the top, we have both a 6 and a 7 in here. 6, 7, 6, 7. And that's going to leave us with a 3, I hope. We haven't placed a 3 there just yet, so that all looks really good. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 8. 4, 8, 7. We know a seven's got to go here or here, but that's pretty much all we know at the moment. We also know a seven has got to go. A seven has to go here. Leave. 
Because the six and the seven are going to sit here. Here and here. So yeah, and we can't have a six. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four and eight to sit here. Four and eight to finish off that row. But we know that's got to be less. So that can place a four there. And we can place an eight there. So then gets rid of the four there. We have a one eight pair there or a one four pair there. Can't really do a lot more with that. Let's look at the next row. So we're gonna have a one. Have a one, two, three, and a five. Well two and three can't go there. This can only be one or a five, and it can't be a one because it needs to be greater than the next cell, so that's gonna be a five. So this could be a one, two, three. Again, that one, two, and three is cropping up. It's not the only position that a one, the only position a one can go in, but the two and three could go in any of the other cells. Um, two, three, two, three, six, nine. We know enough about that at the minute. We do know though is a seven is going to have to sit in one of these two cells. Got here one, two, three, one, four, seven. So the one can't go in the bottom cell. Eight. Can we go there or there? As can nines. Can only go in the bottom row. Or they can only go there and there. So okay, this is seven, eight, nine on the bottom. Which then is going to mean we've got a six in here or here. And this has to be greater than the six, so that's gonna be a nine. We've got a six, two, three possibilities in these cells here. Yeah, I don't particularly like doing it when there's more location in a block, but just for the sake of this puzzle, and it's going to help me out. We can take out the nine from there, so this becomes an eight, I think. Also place a nine here. It'll be a nine. So yeah, that has to be the seven because we can't put the seven in the bottom because of this restriction here. And I believe, yeah, the eights can't go anywhere else. So that's an eight. That's gonna be obviously less than, that's, that's, a pretty, that's pretty much a given. Five's gonna have to go here because of that restriction. Can't go there and can't go there. Six is gonna have to go in this top corner here because it can't go there. Can we start wrapping this up? It's the one four. Don't know enough about this cell at the minute. Well, we know it can't be a one. But this has to be a four. Can't be a one because this number has to be less than that number. And um, one is not greater than four. So that goes there, which means we can have an eight there and a four there. Still leaves that seven, six there. Um, there doesn't restrict anything at the moment. Again, we're left with this one, two, three. This recurring one, two, three throughout this whole puzzle. And it is still plaguing us right to the end. So we know a one, actually we can place a one in this cell because we know it can't go in the bottom cells because of that restriction and that is taken. So we can place a one in this cell. One, two, three, four. Four can't go there. It's four, four, seven, six. So we've got a four and six together. Six can't go there. Six has to go there. 
We get in there. I think we get in there. All right. So this is a four seven. Of course, we can't put this, uh, the f can't put the seven here. That's got to be the four. That's got to be the seven to finish that row. Comes a one four pair. We've already got a four there, so we can finish this off with a four and a one there. Ones we've already got. One is going to go at the top here. Does that fit that restriction? Yes, it does. So we've got left two, three. Well, the three is greater than a two, and the two is going to have to go to the middle because of that restriction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven in the middle. Five and two and three. Sorry, I'm trying to pick all these tiles up and. Um, Five's gonna go here. Five, three, two. Almost home. Okay, we're starting to see some of these extra digits now. This is what we've been wanting to see for a while. So, the one, let's pick them all up. One is gonna have to go here because of that restriction. Three is going to have to go here. Which means a six is going to have to go here with a two in this cell. We can now finally unwind this element over here. Though I said element, this section over here. Two, three pair. Now we are left with the seven, six pair. Seven there, six here. Resolved. Oh, we've got green light. Oh, there's a door. We can say we've got green lights on all of these cells, which means um, we are indeed done. That was a really cool one. I like that. I like that a lot. So uh, thank you very much once again, guys, for watching this. Hope you're enjoying these um, different videos from me. And uh, I intend, hopefully, to keep bringing them to you and finding even more of these puzzles in the near future. But until next time, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.